so yeah it's half two in the morning here um, but not in other countries and they always say that news develops at any time of the day and they're right um, I kind of want to tell you um, this news which is just really disturbing and it's kind of the news is like kind of just still coming out at the moment um so yeah but um i am going to be kind of leaving this video off youtube for a little bit because i don't want to be one of them people who's like oh my god news is just breaking let me cash in on that because that really is what this is about this is i'm disgusted I think it's the only way that I can genuinely put this. Um, so top of the news story is that uh, North Carolina voters um, have approved a const constitutional amendment on Tuesday defining marriage uh, solely as a union between a man and a woman, making it the 30th state to adopt such a ban. Um, the unofficial return showed that the amendment passing with about 58% of the vote to and about 42% against what's going on just roll the titles will have to excuse me on this because I am kind of wanting to fall asleep but as soon as I saw this news coming out and I was like do you know what this is disgusting like it's genuinely disgusting and if I go down a couple of um, if I go down like a couple of um, paragraphs <coughs> you find out exactly what's been happening um, where is it now in this story it says, it, you know, it says during the story that, like, this has been coming up and the, the, the way that it's been worded on the ballot paper, like, when you get into that voting booth or whatever, it words it as, you know, we want to put it into law that marriage is between a man and a woman. Do you approve of this or do you, I can't remember what the word is, but uh, reject it, basically. So, for quite a while now my Facebook page and my Twitter the, the accounts that I follow um, they've all been saying oh my god reject this because this is just stupid um, today however apparently their efforts weren't enough the other thing that's kind of worrying is that you know a lot of um, laws have been changing over in America when it comes to things like gay marriage and gay rights and that has been while Obama has been in power now Obama I believe and certainly a few members of like staff in the White House have been throwing their weight behind this cause and saying you know what reject it because gay marriage is the path to go down and people haven't listened to them um, I can't find exactly where it says it because I want to read it to you like as it is actually written in this story um, where are we now um, you can tell that I've not actually fully read this story either because I'm just reading parts of it now I'm still just like oh my god get away um, there is an interesting bit here. Um, I don't know how to say his name. Joe Easterling? Easterling? I don't know. Um, but he describes himself as a devout Christian. Um, has voted for the amendment um, at a polling place. 
and his statement is that um, I know that some people may argue that the Bible is not necessarily that the Bible may not necessarily be acceptable or that it should not be acceptable um, on such policy matters but even looking at nature itself procreation is impossible without a man and a woman and because of those things I think it is important that the state of North Carolina's laws are, com <laughs> are compatible with the law of nature but more importantly with the laws of God now let me just go up onto religion here for a little moment because it's very rare that I actually have a complete and utter rant about religion and gays and laws and all that sort of thing but when you try and use religion as a way to discriminate against people that is not religion straight up right I saw a tweet of someone the other day there is um, there is a, a what you call them there's account, an account on Twitter I'm not editing this video by the way there is an account on Twitter which is where um, it's called the at homophobes and anything that they find like homophobic tweets or pictures that sort of thing they will retweet it and basically it gives you the chance to reply to these idiots right now someone put on the other day and they were like you know I'm not voting against this because it's something that would make God frown I think he, he put something like that but it's basically him saying it makes God frown and I tweeted back and I was like wait you can see God how do you know God frowns on this sort of thing you know you're trying to read from a book here which supposedly was written about 2000 years ago but conveniently was re-edited in 1940 plus bear in mind your book that you read your life from was actually translated from another language now this other language that it was translated from actually has words that the English language doesn't have words for you know we can't even describe what that word means so don't try and come to me and tell me this is what God wants because you're talking out your ass seriously like if you want to talk about what God wants go and read the original copy of the Bible because I tell you what you will learn so much more and I swear to God it would make like 99.9% .9 of Christians sinners straight away you're all gonna burn in hell and to say that it's the law of nature what kind of pathetic excuse is that genuinely what kind of pathetic excuse is that have you not seen these countries where these people have babies right now if that baby was a female do you know that they would actually put that baby in the bin are you aware that that happened now let, let, let's get something clarified here if that's your main thought here that it's like following the god of like you know procreation and all that sort of bollocks is that what you believe is that what your god preaches to put babies in the bin if they're of a certain sex is that what he does I mean, if, if if that's what God approves of, you're following a really mighty man. He's a great example, right? No. I mean, let's face it. I mean, this is this is news stories coming from America, right? Have a look at the American adoption system. Why is that so full of kids and babies? Why is it so full of that? You know, if if God wants people to like create life and you know to raise the children well and with all these morals and everything like that then surely the adoption system wouldn't actually have to exist because there would be no children available they would all be raised in these loving families but let's face it right your country's screwed as it is you know you're trying to follow the law of god and yet what has god done for you seriously can you answer me that when was the last time that you got an answer to your prayers I've never had a prayer answered and I went to a bloody primary school which of a morning you would have to go in and you had this big assembly and it's everyone getting together and you had to pray my prayers never got answered <laughs> am I bothered no because do you know what I live in the real world I accept things for what they are but you can't discriminate against people who want to have a happy life together just because you know your God says so but your God hasn't actually said anything for, hmm, like, like what, 2,000 years now? <laughs> what the fuck? I just, I don't get you people, seriously. And I just, I don't get it. I really, I just don't understand how, you know, these people who have said things like this and they voted against allowing 
gay people to get married. Shall I tell you the main reason that gay people want to get married? It's because they want to be happy. Seriously, that is the main reason. They want to be happy. They are together. In a lot of cases, they've been together for sometimes decades at a time. And you know what happens when you turn around and say no? You're kind of going, well, you know, you might have been together for like a load of years, but like... We don't want you getting married because we feel threatened by your relationship. That's pathetic. It's 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 pathetic, you know. And yes, I have actually seen people saying um, that, you know, that they feel that their heterosexual marriage is under threat because of gay people. You know, if if gay marriage was to come into law, it would affect their marriage. I can't stop laughing at these people because they are seriously pathetic. Like, if your marriage is that crap that, that it can't cope with two men getting married who you've never met before, you probably will never meet, but their happiness kind of destroys your marriage, I think you've got other issues. You know? Don't try and scapegoat this on, on gay marriage. And... While we're on about this, the, there is something which does need to change here, and I think it's across all boards, right? We need to stop calling this gay marriage. Like, seriously, we need to stop calling it gay marriage. We need to call it marriage equality, because that's what it is. You know? Like, when I wake up in the morning, right, for starters, I don't wake up in a gay bed. Sometimes. Um... <laughs> I don't go to, you know, the the gay frozen food shops. I don't go to the gay um, shopping centre. I don't get on the gay bus. I don't get on the gay whatever. You know, it's not gay marriage. It is marriage equality. You know, and at the moment, marriage is discriminatory. Oh my God, I said that. And it, at near enough quarter to three in the morning I managed to say oh, that's good good going for me um, the story just keeps updating itself on this website which is really handy um, I don't know what else to say now really um, to the people who are in North Carolina I have the deepest sympathy for you guys like you know, world over, you know, we already know that there should be marriage equality straight across the board. You know, marriage should be about being with a person that you love. It shouldn't be a political thing, but it is. And I don't get why, but whatever. Um, as far as these other states that have brought this law in, and the people who live in these states, completely and utterly, shame on you. Really, shame on you. And I can only hope one day that you get to see things from my point of view. That, you know, your options get cut short. I, I hope that you genuinely have to experience that in your future. Because it's a really, really really shitty feeling and I don't I, I, you can tell I don't give a shit about my language now because it's quarter to three in the morning <laughs> um, I hope these people who have voted this in have to put up with their options being cut short in future I hope that you have to experience your options being cut off like I have to you know if I was to go meet someone tomorrow and fall head over heels in love with them, even in England, you know, and we were like, oh, next week, let's go and get married. We can't do it. And that sucks. That's really shitty, to put it nicely. Um, but one thing that I put on Twitter when this news first came out was that, you know, it's really bad news. You know, I don't think there is one 
gay organisation who were like, oh yeah, let's approve this. Um, so as you can imagine, the news is doing the rounds at the moment and people don't like it. Um, but I put on and I said, you know what? <clears throat> now isn't the time for people in North Carolina who will be affected by this to go, that's really bad news, let's spend a week in mourning about this. Now is actually the time, while your guns are blazing, to plan your next thing, to get this repealed, to to do whatever, to get the right laws into place. I mean, th do you know one thing that really, really confuses me, and this, this really annoys me as well when I see things like this, right? Do you remember how, like, let's go back in time now, about what, anything from, like, I suppose in some places, like 30, 40 years ago, and I've only read about this, I'm too young to remember. Oh, beauty. But the, 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 there were laws in like this which were for black people. And they were like, <coughs> black people can't get married um, because God says so. And black people can't marry white people because, you know, that would piss God off. Um, and we don't want black people in the same places as white people because that would piss God off as well. And, you know what, while we're on the topic, God also didn't want women to vote. Genuine fact for you there. So, it kind of annoys me and confuses me when these days you have black people who, like, like with this news, they've approved it. And it's like, well, hang on. <laughs> Let's turn the tables a little bit here. You wouldn't like it if this w this news was affecting you because of the colour of your skin. So, why is it okay to approve a law like this based on someone's sexuality? Why? You know? <clears throat> sexuality and completely sod off with all your it's a choice thing. It's not. It's, it, I'm not even going to start on that, but it is so not a choice. So, these people can't choose about being gay. Black people can't choose about being black. Fact, right? So we've got we've got we've got some basic facts right there, right? Okay. If this law was about black people in this modern day, do you realise how many places world over would literally be starting a war over this? And yet, because it's not, because this is just against gay people. Nothing seems to be happening, you know? I mean, for starters, it got allowed for this retarded vote to come into play anyway, when it, it clearly shouldn't have done. And, you know, the news just keeps getting worse. You know, not only do you not want to allow these people to <coughs> put it forward and say, we should allow marriage equality, you don't even want it happening like that now. You want it in the law saying it's between a man and a woman. When it's bollocks. It's absolute bullshit. Marriage is between two people. And if you look through the Bible, you can actually see it wrote down. Marriage is between two people. It does not say man and a woman. It doesn't. So, please... Just don't be thick, you know? These voters in North Carolina who've approved this, I mean, I can only hope that their care workers get a pay rise, you know, for having to take them out of the house to vote on this sort of crap, but whatever, you know? And yes, I did genuinely call, like, what, 58% of North Carolina retarded? Yes, I did, because you're retarded enough to vote this in. So, screw you. <laughs> You know, if you ever find yourself in a situation where your laws are getting taken away from you, where your options are getting shut down right in front of your face, I hope you feel as shit as these people who have voted to say, you know what, we should at least allow this to think about it. 
but no apparently that's not good enough so I'm going to end this video and say that 58% 50, of North Carolina voters I'm really disappointed in you and I hope that you find yourself in a current gay man's situation in your state and the other states that have brought this in I, I wish the same on you as well just so as you can see how shitty it is to be treated like this but you know you guys are probably just there too busy and you're going to go and stick your face back in the bible because let's face it life in the bible is so much better than it is on this planet at the moment um yes yeah, so thank you for letting me rant and uh i'll speak to you guys later Goodbye. Fucking retards.